Hi there, my name is Roy and in this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can combine two columns in Excel into one. Now, before I get started, if you're new here, if you're new to the channel, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, go down to the comments and write, I subscribed so that I can show you my appreciation. Okay, let's get started. So right here on my screen, let me move myself down to the bottom there and out of your way. And I apologize for the flickering. I'm wearing a green shirt today. And when you try to remove yourself from the background and you're wearing green, it confuses with the background. So apologies for that. But ignore me. We're paying attention to my code up here. All right. So what we're going to do is we really want to combine column A plus column C and have it spit out in column D. Okay. And the very simple, easy, quick code to do that is equals A2 and C2 using the AND clause. Okay. And what that's going to do, oops, we don't want to change the code. Let's type that again. A2 and, oops, not dollar sign, and C2. Okay. So there you go. Now, I had um, GTP or chat GTP generate 50 random names and 50 random five digit ID numbers for this exercise. These are not real. These aren't from any kind of company. These are just random from AI. Now, if you notice when it combines, it doesn't, it's kind of hard to see or look at because it combines the ID directly with the name. And so it'd be nice, right? If you could add another character in there, either a space or a dash or something else to separate the two columns when you combine them so that it's easier to read. So what we're going to do, let's insert another column here that has the same format. We're going to say combined with a character, with a special character, okay? Combined with a special character. So that code is going to be equals A2. And now we're going to do our special character in parentheses. So we're going to parentheses. For this instance, I'm going to do a dash, okay? Another parentheses. Now we need to use and again, okay? And c2 so there you go now we have the name with the dash now you could change that character to anything you want you could come in here i believe you could even use something like you know that really <laughs> well not two of them okay there you go see and it, it adds it in there so you could you could literally type anything you want in there you could even have it just be a space if whoops not listen excel didn't mean to go down there a minute to press enter and then you have a space right or you know any other thing you want a comma something else and you can have your separator i like using the dash there you go now you want to copy your for uh formula to be your whole sheet right you don't just want it to be the, the top line so there's two ways you can do this you can see this little tiny square in the corner where your indicator changes from like a, a outline plus to a normal plus that you can click hold your left mouse button down and drag and that's copying just the formula and you can see it's copying the formula to these other random names or if you double click it'll go to the end of where it has data in the other columns so you double click and it will just do the whole sheet there's all 50 names now um, some people like to be a little more precise and go a few lines at a time in that instances you know you can drag and then scroll down click and drag again just to make sure it's only getting the ones that you want same thing over here we can drag and it combines adds the dash to them or we could double click and we could add the formula all the way down to the end of the data okay okay now when you're all done and you have the data that you want I'm going to just get rid of this column because I'm going to assume that you wanted the one with your special character because it looks nicer. Chances are you're not going to want, you know, your formulas, right? You're going to want the data that it pulled. So what you want to do is select your entire column, okay, and copy it, okay, copy. And then <clears throat> right there in the same thing, you're going to right click and you're going to want to just paste the values. And that's this little option right here with the one, two, three. Another way you could do it is go here to pay, click on paste special, brings up this menu, select values and say, okay. Now what that did is it overwrote our code with this. Now what you could do 
is you could delete these columns and you just have the data that you wanted. I hope you found this quick tutorial on how to combine columns in Excel useful. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with somebody who could use it. Here's to helping you be more efficient in the workplace. Have a beautiful day.